This is a fine how do you do. Hi, Gordon. Everything okay? No. Thomas and I are delivering ties to the bottom of the mine, but my headlight just burned out. I can't join him without it. Oh, well, I can help you. Stick close to me. I'll light the way. Thank you, Nia. But do be careful. This mine can be a dangerous place. <gasps> Watch out, Nia! A runaway car! Um, Gordon, that's your car. In my car? Oh, yeah, we have to catch it. Go oh, this way. Here. Ah, there it is. Whoa. Oh, we're getting close. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. I forgot how beautiful the Crystal Cavern is. It's incredible. Oops. Ooh. Yeah, this mine is quite spooky enough without that, Nia. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sorry, this is just a little setback. I think your car ended up over here. Oh. What was that? One of the crystals. It lit up. Whoa. <gasps> Come on! The Crystal Cavern is gonna help us find your car and get out! Bum! Ba. Ding ding dong ding! <laughs> Whoa! We found my car! Yes! Um. What are you doing? <laughs> Dancing! Look! <gasps> Let me try! I think we just might dance our way to a delivery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is fun. What are we doing? <laughs> Chasing a butterfly. Oh, I love butterflies. They're so delicate but keep fluttering and flitting and flying. I know. Right now, I'm looking for a Sodor Skipper. A Sodor Skipper? I thought we were looking for butterflies. We are. A Sodor Skipper is a really big purple butterfly. Purple? Like me? Electric! Hmm. Not here. <gasps> Over there! It's amazing! <laughs> <laughs> wow, they get scared easily. Maybe they're just not ready for someone as fast as you. Good point. I won't go fast. <gasps> that one over there is purple! It is a Sodor Skipper! <laughs> Well, it was. Maybe she heard you coming? <laughs> I might have been too loud. Okay, so we need to be slow and quiet. <gasps> Look over there! Where? Slowly, slowly, getting closer, closer. <gasps> so beautiful! <gasps> So perfectly purple. Look out! <laughs> <laughs> I guess no matter how slow or how quiet we are, we're always going to scare away the Sodor Skippers. But it sure was fun looking. There's one on your head. The electric this rock. Hey guys, is the telescope here yet? Not yet. Bullstrode should be here any. <gasps> Thomas, what happened? What do you mean? Ah! Thomas, I told you not to cut through Crumble Canyon. So that's what you said. I knew it was something like that. You look terrible. Like, really terrible. Huh? Pfft. I just got a little dinged up. No biggie. Thomas, what on earth? You have to get to Tidmouth right now. Right now? But I want to see the new telescope. You no know, buts. You have to get repainted immediately. You don't want to rust, do you? Rust? I'm so glad you came to see me. You've got a bad case of the scrapes. Oh, can't believe I'm going to miss Cranky unloading the new telescope. Scratches and dings do turn to rust if you don't fix them, Thomas. And you don't want rust, Thomas. Rust is the worst. I hear it's super itchy and scratchy and really uncomfortable. Oh, it is. You should
should be fine, Thomas. See? Got you all fixed up with a fresh new coat of paint. Good as new. Great! Thanks, Sandy. Make it on your own. <laughs> what? I like the wind. I can get there and back all by myself. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Ah! This wind is so strong and gusty. I can't steer. Whoa. Maybe Cranky was right. Huh? Hey, Skiff. Mind if I come along? Thanks for the wind block, Bullstrode. But I really wanted to sail to the lighthouse all by myself. You're still the one sailing. We're just cruising along next to each other. Hey, good point. Lighthouse. Here I come. Whoa, is that Skip? Hey, Skip. I've never seen you this far from the docks before. That's because it's a new record. Great job. Hi, Volstrode. Hi, Thomas. See you later, Skiff. Be careful getting home. Don't worry. After getting here, getting home is going to be a breeze. Huh? Oh, no. Oh, now. Slow down. I told you it was too windy to make it all the way to the lighthouse. But he did make it there, all by himself. Well, uh, good job then, I, I guess. Uh, how'd you do it? Well, I had a little help from Bullstrode blocking the wind for me. Aw, I only helped a little bit. Turns out going alone is a lot more fun when you take somebody with you. <laughs> <laughs>
just the way I like it. Mama. <laughs> Mama. What? Mama. I'm not your mama. You want something with feathers who says caca and... Mama. No. Mama. No. Mama. No. Mama. You don't give up, do you? What's your name, little guy? Mama. Okay, I'll call you Wilson. Hello, Wilson. I'm Diesel. Now we're buddies. Next stop, Random Docks to find your... Mama. Not your mama. More like a big brother. Mama! Wilson, you have to be more careful. Mama. <laughs> no, more like a super strong uncle. Don't worry, Wilson. We'll find your mama here. Mama. Hey, Diesel. Looks like you picked up a passenger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find his mama. Mama! Well, I'm glad he's found his mama. They grow up so quickly. It's hard to see them leave the nest. <clears throat> you did a good thing. Helped him find his mama. Yeah, I guess so. Huh. Better go pick up my delivery. <gasps> mama! Now she shouldn't be down here. She should be up at the duck pond. Okay, ducky. I'll take you home. But mama's work is never done. <laughs> yeah, you're a cutie. It's okay, Percy. Everyone's afraid a little. But some of us are afraid a lot. Me, for a start, I'm afraid of the dark and pandas and great white sharks. You're afraid of pandas? They're bears, Nia. Panda bears. Yeah, but... Like raccoons. Oh, raccoons are so cute. Okay, so never mind. I like pandas now. Everyone's afraid a little. Even if someone says they're not. But me personally, my fear happens to be roller coasters. They scare me a lot. Coasters are just like pandas. The more you know, the less afraid you'll be. We all get scared. Feeling that share of robots or ghosts or bats or vacuum cleaners. Coasters are just like pandas. The more you know, the less afraid you'll be. We all get scared. Of robots or ghosts or bats or vacuum cleaners. Yeah, we all get scared. It's a feeling that shared. You can go slow, just watch your courage grow. Face any fear without shedding any tears. And just to be clear, we're your friends and we're here. Well, we're just gonna have to put our heads together and think of something new. Between you and We'll find the plan B or C or D between me and you. We'll get this delivery through. I've got an idea. Sugar and flour will be our base stacked up right. Make a pretty sweet race, keeping eggs, milk, and butter in the right place. So I won't get more egg on my face between you and me. We'll find a plan B or C or D between me and you.
C or D between me and you. We'll get this delivery through. I sure am feeling unlucky. Without Percy's bell with me. There's mud and rocks and sharp lands too. So much in my way. Without Percy's bell keeping me safe, will I be okay? I sure am feeling unlucky, cause I wasn't as careful as I should be. I sure am feeling lucky, cause I've got this bell with me. I don't need to feel afraid, won't bend or break or fall. Because I've got a special bell that takes care of it all. I sure am feeling lucky, cause I've got this bell with me. Caves, monsters, or broken track, I think I'll be okay. This lucky bell. I think I'll be okay. This lucky bell sure has a knack for saving every day. I sure am feeling lucky, cause I've got this bell with me. Percy gave this bell to me, I'm lucky he's my friend. So I'll take care of Percy's bell until the very end. I sure am feeling lucky, cause I've got this bell with me. These cows aren't going to haul themselves to McCall's farm. Let's go! Uh-oh. Wait! What is it? I can't steam. And I lost my peep because I'm out of water. I'm a diesel, so I don't need water. Catch me if you can. <sighs> That's it. <laughs> Sorry, <gasps> cows, but we gotta hurt the <laughs> Rusty rail spikes. I have the hick <laughs> ups. Hey, Thomas, is there like a really big chicken around here? No, it's <gasps> me. I took on water too fast, and I think I got the hiccups. <laughs> so bad, I can't do the delivery. <gasps> oh, I hear steam blasts help, like this. <gasps> 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 <laughs> that might have worked. <laughs> the cows have hiccups. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> 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 A good surprise always cures the hiccups. It worked! It's a good thing we diesels never get hiccups. I guess we do get hiccups. Wow! I made a new sound! I love it! Hey, sheep! Listen. <gasps> They're jumpy today. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hi, Nia. Don't scare the butterflies, please. Oh, wow. Hey, have you heard my new sound? <gasps> uh, wow. That was pretty loud. But cool. But loud. Oh, no. It was too loud, wasn't it? 
Well, too loud for the butterflies. I'm going to find a place where it's okay to be loud. Good luck! Oh. Here's a good spot. <laughs> Gordon, wait till you hear my new sound. <laughs> <laughs> Ania, <laughs> what's wrong? Sorry I woke you up. I have a great new sound, but it's too loud to play anywhere. Well, sometimes it's fun to be loud. <laughs> you need to find a place where being loud won't make others cranky. Cranky? Great idea, Gordon. Oh, what are you doing here, Nia? This. <gasps> <laughs> wow, nice loud sound. I like it. <laughs> nice one, Bullstrode. What's at the end of the rainbow? What do you think we'll find? Nobody knows what a rainbow holds, but I have a few things in mind. What's at the end of the rainbow? It's gonna be a great surprise. Hey, what's at the end of the rainbow span? Look, it's some old rail ties? That doesn't seem right. Hey, over there! We'll find a rainbow's end if it's treasure or it's not. We're so close now and we're gonna give it all we got. Aw, oh, bolts. What's at the end of the rainbow? What do you think we'll find? Nobody knows what a rainbow holds. But I have a few things in mind. Hey! I hope what we find is a golden headlight. I hope it's new wheels so shiny and so bright. What's at the end of the rainbow? Plus zero, added up to zero fun. Turns out the no fun number isn't always the number one. On my own, on my own. As long as I can pretend I'll never be alone. On my own. You can sail across the seven seas, rule a kingdom from a throne. Take a trip on a rocket ship, past the moon to the unknown. On my own. On my own. I thought that one plus zero added up to zero fun. Turns out the no fun number isn't always the number one. On my own. On my own. As long as I can pretend I'll never be alone. On my own. Sail across the seven seas, rule a kingdom from a throne. Take a trip on a rocket ship, past the moon to the unknown. On my own, on my own. As long as I can pretend I'll never be alone. On my own, on my own, all on my own. Taking letters and packages down the rail. My favorite thing is to deliver the mail. Looking excited today. 
Just one delivery left. It's a super special party balloon for Sir Topham Hat. Look! Oh no! It's getting away! I have to get that back. Come on! Back up! Back up, back up, back up! Go, go, go! I have to get that back! <gasps> there it is! I don't got it. Hey! Come back here! We have to get it back, or Sir Topham Hat's party will be ruined! Follow that seagull! Well, hello there. Excuse me, Cranky. Will you lift me up to those gulls? I suppose so. Percy, you're scared of heights! What are you doing? I have to deliver all the mail. That means getting my... Balloon! Oh, ha! Got it! Ah! Let me down! That was amazing! And brave! Okay, let's deliver this balloon! Come on, Loco Amigo! I got you! Sir Topham Hat, your special party balloon! Oh, yes! Perfect! Thank you! I'll add it to the others. The others? There. Lovely. Oh, oh dear. Boys, would you mind? Follow that, Sir Topham Hat. Oh, my. Don't worry, Sir Topham Hat. We'll get you back to the party. There you go, Thomas. All done. I love the feeling of being sparkly clean after a good scrub. Okay, Sandy, your turn. No! I don't want to take a bath. Sandy, don't you want to be clean and shiny like me? No! I like being muddy. It's my look. Besides, you're just going to get all dirty again. Maybe, but I'll make you a deal. If I can stay clean all day, then you have to take a bath. You are on! Hope you don't have any dirty deliveries today. <laughs> Pigs? Ah, oh, bolts. Bet you can't stay clean. I'm taking them to the farm, not rolling in the mud with them. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Ah, what a bright, shiny, sparkly, clean day. Easy greasy. And I'm still clean as a whistle. Have fun in the mud. Whoa, Piggy, look out! Ah, bolts. Thomas, what happened to you? I fell in the mud, and I bet Sandy had to stay clean all day. Yes! I knew I'd win. Well, why don't you take another bath before she sees you? No, I have to tell her the truth. Are you looking for the winner? I'm right here! Huh? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you got a mud mustache. Whoa! Look, I'm all clean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wash off. If I can do it like that, let's get clean! It's not treasure. It's a monster. Roar! <laughs> it's got big teeth, but it's not a monster. The paleontologist says it's a dinosaur. What's a palonapotogalist? Palonapotogalist, Diesel. <laughs> a paleontologist is a scientist who learns about dinosaurs by digging up their bones. I love dinosaurs. This is so cool. Oh, yes. And even cooler, uh, they need some engines to deliver the bones to the Vickerstown Museum for the big new dinosaur exhibit. Sounds like a job for... The Biggest Adventure Club! Yeah! Hooray! Guys, guys, we have to go to the mine! Right now! There's bones! Bones? Dinosaur bones! Dinosaur bones? Wahoo! Let's go! Hear me roar! <laughs> Call me the Percy Dactyl. The Conoraptor, 
show you how it's done. Thomas Rex has got this! Let's go! See? The bones are right. <gasps> oh, no! Gordon, the T-Rex is gone? Gone? Someone better tell the paleo lollipopolist. <laughs> the uh, paleontologist dug them up from there and carefully arranged them for you over here. Now, everyone pick a car, but keep them in the order they are now. Feet, tailbone, ribs, and claws, head and jaws. For the T-Rex to be put together properly, the paleontologists put these cars in this exact order. If you get out of order... Got it! Dinosaurs, let's dino roar! Roar! <laughs> if you kids get out of order, T-Rex won't look right. Uh, Thomas? Thomas! <sighs> Feet, tailbone, ribs, and claws, head and jaws. Feet, tailbone, ribs, and claws, head and jaws. Stomp and bite and swipe and roar! Glad you're okay. Uh, but you're a little sticky. Hey, maybe we can use the sticky goop to fix the bouncy castle. Great idea, Kana. But let's fill the castle first. Oh, me, 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 me. Here you go, Percy. <gasps> While you do that, I'll get some goop for the pack. Chugga, chugga, woohoo! Awesome! And now to clean you off, it's whooshing time. <laughs> Thank you, Kana. Look at that! All good is new! Well, almost all. Wait, maybe we could fix the calliope with goo, just like we fixed the bouncy castle. Wow, we did it! <sighs> I'm sorry, calliope. I really loved how you went. Yeah, I miss it. I really like the... And how about the... No way. The best was the... Hey, everyone, do that again. Do what again? Make all those musical sounds. Okay. <laughs> Together, we sound a lot like the Calliope. If we work together, I bet we can fill in at the carnival. <gasps> I am so happy to see you. I was starting to worry something terrible had happened. <gasps> What's this? We hit a few snags along the way. Oh, don't worry. A bouncy castle is as good as it bounce. And this one still got it. Clever patch. <gasps> no! No, no, no! Not the Calliope. How did this happen? I'm sure I just heard it playing. Actually, you he heard us working together. Let's show him, everyone. <gasps> the docks and be careful. We want to surprise Sir Topham Hat when he gets back from the mainland. Don't worry. I'll be so careful. <laughs> Not confetti. What's wrong, Diesel? I thought everyone liked confetti. Everybody loves confetti. Just not in their intake vents. Thomas, I told you to be careful. I was careful. You should be careful. Like the carefulest. Oops, miss some. Um, 
Now remember. Whoa! Hey, where did the confetti cart go? There! Let's go! Be careful or the confetti will explode again! Wait! Cindy's right! We have to be careful. I'm being careful! Oh no! Ah! How is it not exploding? Okay, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> this way! That doesn't work carefully! Hello! Welcome back, Sir Top and Hat! And surprise! Huh? I got this! Ooh. Let me try. Busy day. Must be going. Bye-bye. Oh, no. What happened to the confetti? I don't get it. All it took before was... Don't say it. Everybody loves confetti. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. So big. But we can handle it. You sure about that, Thomas? We know what to do at railway crossings. Stop, look, and listen. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. Hi, Diesel. It's okay. You can bring the tractor. What? That tiny tractor? <gasps> See you there. Okay, steady and safe. And fun. How about a game? Red light, green light. Green light. <laughs> steady and safe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cranky. Just be careful out there. Thomas, listen! Look! Mia! <gasps> Red light! <laughs> Duckies, don't you know it's not safe to play on the railway tracks? Now scoot. Green light! I love this game. Hi, Ducks! Red light! Green light! No! <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Diesel, you okay? Never better. Diesel, you have to pay attention at railway crossings. When the crossing barriers are down, you have to stop. And never try to cross when a train is coming. Green light! Green light! From now on, I'm gonna be super safe. Huh? Ah! Red light! Looks like somebody left the gate open and the cows wandered onto the tracks. Bad move. <laughs> <laughs> if I was a super train, I'd always do good deeds. Here to there and everywhere. Thanks to my super speed! Woohoo! If I was a super train, I'd use my super steam. I'd slip inside so I could hide and not be super seen. If you were a super train, you'd do a lot of good. But anyone can be a hero right in their neighborhood. I'd be so strong and fly so fast. Having superpowers is a super blast. Superpowers are great, it's true. But nothing's more super than just being you. If I was a super train, I'd always do good deeds. Here to there and everywhere. Thanks to my super speed. Woohoo! If I was a super train, I'd use my super steam. I'd slip inside so I could hide and not be super seen. If you were super trained, you'd do a lot of good. But anyone can be a hero right in their neighborhood. I'd be so strong and fly so fast. Having superpowers is a super blast. Superpowers are great, it's true. The world would cheer my name! But even if you lost your powers, I'd like you just the same! I can clear.
clear that, no problem. Okay. It might be a little problem. Good luck with the traffic. Huh. It's nothing but grassy fields and blue skies out here. Right, sheep? <gasps> Cracked couplers! Where did all this traffic come from? <clears throat> you got this, Percy! I think I can. I think I can. I think I... Thanks, cow. Any chance you want to be my new BFF? Bovine friend forever? <coughs> Traintastic! Although, I am a little worried about Thomas. He took the lineys for my mail route, and you would not believe how jammed it gets this time of day. <sighs> Is the traffic always this bad? Ha ha ha! You are listening! I don't need Percy. It's just you and me, sheepy old pal. Which ain't so bad. <laughs> <sighs> Percy would have laughed at that. Who am I kidding? I miss my best friend. Thomas? Why haven't you dropped your delivery off yet? Isn't it obvious? I'm stuck in traffic. Wait, where's Percy? He uh, took a little detour. Don't tell me you two haven't made up yet. Well, he started it. Or maybe I did. I wonder if he's having as much trouble as I am. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks for trying, Cow. But it's no use. I'll never get this delivery done without my best buddy, Thomas. What am I gonna do, Nia? Why don't you just ask Percy for help? This is his mail route, after all. He'll know a way around it. I, I can't. We're not exactly friends anymore. And besides, he's probably made it to Normby without me. So if Percy was nearby, would you ask him for help? Yeah. Good, because Percy's right over there. Wait, what? Percy! <gasps> I was really hoping Thomas wouldn't see me. Can you help Thomas get out of this traffic? We're still not talking. But if someone wanted to avoid the traffic, they could back up a few feet and take the siding over there to get to this track. Thomas, it's right here. Thanks, Percy! <sighs> you both are being silly. Hey, Thomas, you got a light bulb too? Yeah, for the lighthouse. Is yours for the dance party at Brenham Docks? Yep, I can't wait. Since we're going the same way, wanna race? Last one to quick jump bridge is a broken bulb. <laughs> Diesel, the lights are too breakable. We can't race. <sighs> I better catch him and warn him. <laughs> Woohoo! We don't want our light bulbs to break. Nice try, Thomas. You're just trying to trick me so you can win the race. I don't need tricks to win against you. <laughs> hey, no fear. Excuse me. Excuse Party me. me. Party me. Go. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Call it a tie? Sure. See you at the dance tonight. Can't wait. Who's ready to dance? I am, I am, I am, I That's not a dance light. It's the lighthouse light. It is. So if we have this light... That doesn't look right. <gasps> Diesel and I must have switched bulbs. No, the ships need the lighthouse, so we can't switch the bulbs until tomorrow. If you can't switch the light bulb, then we'll just have to switch where we have our dance party. Now this is a party. Dance come from anywhere, and anyone can be.
a partner on the rails with me. Who would have thought that you and I could make such a special team? Your best friend isn't there to have your back. Just let a new friend in and give it a spin to help you get back on track. Good friends come from anywhere and anyone can be a partner on the rails with me. Just let a new friend in and give it a spin. Just let a new friend in and give it a spin. Just let a new friend in and give it a spin. Another tree? Or is it rails? We've been on this route a kajillion times. There's nothing new for your eyes to spy. It was a tree. Well, my eyes spy something blue. Is it me? <laughs> no, they have a beautiful smell. So, not me. Uh, Diesel's right. There's nothing to see here except for tracks and trees. Yes, there is. It's those blue flowers right beside the tracks. Oh, I never noticed those. Mia, how do you even see this stuff? Well, we don't have those flowers where I grew up in Kenya. When I saw them, I thought they were so beautiful. And they only grow in Sodor. Okay, but really, what's a secret? <laughs> Everywhere I go, I ask myself, what's awesome about this place? Hmm. Let me try. My eyes spy. <gasps> Those hanging vines. Those flowers are pretty awesome. And, oh, my eyes spy, that shadow you're making, Mia. It looks just like a dinosaur. <laughs> awesome. Roar! Ooh, ooh, let me try. I spy this gravel. Oh, that's so amazing. And that rusty old switch. So beautiful. It's true. I never noticed that rusty switch before. Now you're getting it. There's so much to see if you just take a moment to look around. I know. I've been in the dark woods so many times, but everywhere I look, I see new things. It's blowing my mind. <laughs> Let's catch up to Nia. Uh, guys, you'd better slow down. Slow down? Whoa! my bumpers that was close. Whoa! Oh no! The orange tree! We can't show up to the plaza without those amazing orange trees. But I'm sure we can think of something else to bring. Mia's right. There must be something else we can do. No, nothing will be as awesome as those orange trees. Except maybe those orange flowers in that bush I never noticed before. <gasps> we can use flowers from Sodor for the plaza. Oh, yeah. We passed lots of plants that would be perfect. Great idea. I thought being number one was done so easily. Just gotta be strong when the load is heavy. Revved up and at the ready. Faster than any other train. Shiny with the glossy.
must go to pain. Taking the lead in a big delivery. This is all I thought that a number one engine should be. But being number one's not easy as it seems. You've got to be willing to offer your help. Put others before yourself. Know when you should apologize. Be honest, loving, and kind. Now I can see a brighter side of me. A true friend to all is how a number one engine should be. so someone else can reuse or recycle it. Huh, good point. You know what? Let's take it all to Wish Recycling right now. Okay, all ready to sort and recycle. Goodbye, bike. Hope someone finds you and loves you. These old bicycle wheels would make perfect engine gaskets. Goodbye, old computer monitor. Hey, I can use this for my greasifier. It's such a good idea to get rid of all this stuff. Goodbye, fridge. <laughs> this is still useful. And goodbye, shoe. Join the other... What? Where's the other... Oh. Well, I'm not gonna waste it. I'm just gonna reuse it myself. Will you? Or is it gonna end up spilled all over the place again? Not if you help me, because you are super good at organizing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yay! Hmm. One more thing, and... Ta-da! That looks great! Thanks, Carly. And look, I made this for you. You actually did reuse that old boot and created something beautiful. And I can put it right here. Carly, no! Sandy? Maybe I can reuse some help. Uh, Sandy, can you help me with my... <sighs> whistle? Whoa, I've never heard a whistle make that sound before. I, that is... Wow. <laughs> Massive. But I'm on it. <laughs> I'm ready to hear my old... Wow, this really is a more massive deal than we thought. For a job this big, I'm gonna need my extra special tools. Meet me at the sheds later? <sighs> okay. See you then. Uh, go easy on that totally, completely broken whistle. <sighs> I know you want it to be fixed, but it's just a little longer, and then you can get your peep back. Come on, let's finish our mail route. I think you should finish this delivery on your own. But what about Percy, miss? You feel like yourself again, and that's great. But I won't until this is fixed. <sighs> Just go on without me. Well, if that's what you want, I'll meet you back at the sheds. By that time, I'm sure Sandy will have fixed her whistle. If she can even fix me. Otherwise, I'll never peep again. <sighs> See? 
Percy doesn't need me. He can toot and carry the mail by himself. <laughs> Troublesome trucks! Should be trouble making trucks. Uh-oh! One of the troublesome trucks is headed right for Percy! I have to warn him! He can't hear me! But with your help, maybe he will! Okay, just follow the number one bird! Hold on, Thomas. He should be here any minute. Huh? Oh, right. Young Bao's coming today. He's coming for the fireworks show tonight. I can't wait to see him. And that cool tiger painted on his side. And hear his whistle that sounds like a tiger. Just like that. That must be him. A vast landlubbers. There's a passenger on board who seems to be eager to see ya. You made it! Roar! Hey, everyone! I'm so happy to be back with you all in Sodor. And I brought a surprise for the fireworks show tonight. All the way from China. Cool! That's awesome! Can you tell us again how you earned your totally cool and Sort of scary tiger decal, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it wasn't such a big deal. I was just trying to help out. Come Can on, we please, with Axel yeah. Grease on top. Okay, okay. It was for the time I rescued <gasps> Annie and Clarabelle. Annie and Clarabelle. I thought you rescued an engine from an ice cliff with a snowplow. No. James is pulling Annie and Clarabelle this way, but the crossing arm is stuck, and they don't see Gordon coming. We have to stop them. Oh, yeah. Guys, I was trying to say before... Gordon! Gordon! Huh? Great gears! Nicely done. Whew. Thank you, Young Bao. So electric. Oh, you weren't How even brave. scared. What's wrong, Thomas? Well, I should have been the one to have saved the day. I saw the crossing arm was stuck, and I was gonna tell someone, but... Young Bao is our hero. Did you see that? Oh, yes. So you had a chance to be brave and missed it? Yeah. I wish I could have shown Young Bao how brave I really am. Well, you may not be the bravest engine on Sodor, but you did get to see Young Bao bravely leap to the rescue. Well, I would have too. You really are the bravest engine. Well, we'd better get to our delivery so we don't miss the fireworks tonight. Bye, Young Bao. Bye. <laughs> hey! Sorry, switching right. But this isn't my shortcut. No, but uh, you'll see. This way is much better. But it will take us twice as long. No! Cole's farm is way out of our way. I gotta get back across Crovins Creek and into the forest. Hmm. Oh, uh, Gordon. I heard you delivered all the cement for the ferry terminal at Norumby by yourself. That can't be true, can it? It can, and it is. <clears throat> it was no small job, let me tell you. All the cement had to be delivered in one night, and no other engines were available. Well, everyone said it couldn't be done, but I said it's blocked. This is definitely the way to go. To well, by that time, I had delivered only half the cement. It was almost morning. Time was running out, so I dug in and... What? 
why are we in the forest? These bricks have to be delivered as soon as possible. Well, we'll get to Normby much faster this way. We're not going to get there at all this way. We have to go the other way. I insist. Switching right. Hey! Break it! Whoa. Oh, my brakes! Whoa! Phew! <gasps> Aha! And, uh, uh, Thomas, wait! See? We're crossing Quick Draw Bridge. Uh, yes, but we're crossing it in the wrong direction. Now, look, there's the big windmill. This is definitely the way to go. Uh, no. You're thinking of the other windmill. Back into the forest is the way to go. What are you doing? I'm taking us the new way. But this is not the right way. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Go left! No, go right. Huh? Thomas, what are you doing over there? Whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, Thomas, I, I might need some assistance here. I'm coming, Gordon! Hold on! Whoa! Whoa! So stop wandering off like that! I'm doing my best, Gordon! And we're back on track! Uh-oh. Everything okay, Tom? Yo! The tracks are closed! Stop! Phew! That was close!